Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. From the world-famous Tabernacle on Temple Square in Salt Lake City, you will be viewing the Plainfield High School Choir in concert. In front of you are 125 youngsters whose dream it was to come to Salt Lake City and perform in the famed Tabernacle, where the Tabernacle Choir had performed. And through the courtesy of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and the tremendous help from the Salt Lake City Police Department who sponsored him, a dream which seemed to be only a dream at the time has now come true. Before we go on with the concert, we would like to introduce a man who had a tremendous amount to do with bringing this choir here, one of many men, Chief Phyllis. Thank you very much. As a member of the Police Mutual Aid and as Chief of Police of Salt Lake City, may I welcome you folks here this evening. I would at this time like to commend these fine young people and the persons who have made this possible. I'm sure you are in for a real treat, and I would also like to commend the Police Mutual Aid Association for making this type of an entertainment possible for you people. Thank you very much. To make this night a complete night, we have a real treat in store, the famous Alexander Schreiner at the organ. Alexander Schreiner. <laughs> the assistant conductor, Mrs. Jerry Suffrage. Mrs. Jerry Suffrage. Now I'd like to introduce to you the man who has made this choir into one of the finest choirs in the nation. I know I'm with a company who has had an opportunity to record many of them. Now we're proud to present to you the director of the choir, Mr. Easton.
could see darkness covered everything blacker than a hundred midnights down in a cypress swamp then God smiled and the light broke and the darkness rolled up on one side and the light stood shining on the other and God said that light in his hands, and God rolled the light around in his hands until he made the sun, and he set that sun a blazing in the heavens, and the light that was left from making the sun, God gathered it up in a shining ball and flung it against the darkness, spangling the night with the moon and the stars. Then down between the darkness and the light, he hurled the world. And God said, that's good. Then God himself stepped down. And the sun was on his right hand. And the moon was on his left. The stars were clustered about his head, and the earth was under his feet. And God walked, and where he trod his footsteps, hollowed the valleys out, and bulged the mountains up. Then he stopped and looked, and saw that the earth was hot and barren. So God stepped over to the edge of the world and he spat out the seven seas. Amen. He batted his eyes and the lightning splashed. Amen. He clapped his hands and the thunder rolled. And the waters above the earth came down. The cooling waters came down. Then the green grass sprouted, and the little red flowers blossomed. The pine tree pointed his finger to the sky, and the oak spread out his arms. The lakes cuddled down in the hollows of the ground, and the rivers ran down to the sea. Then God smiled again. over the sea and over the land and he said bring forth bring forth and quicker than God could drop his hand fishes and fowls and beasts and birds swam the rivers and the seas roamed the forest and the woods and split the air with their wings. And God said, That's good. Then God walked around. And God looked around on all that he had made. He looked at his son, and he looked at his moon, 
and he looked at his little stars. He looked on his world with all its living things, and God said, I'm lonely still. Then God sat down on the side of a hill where he could think. By a deep, wide river, he sat down with his head in his hands. And God thought and thought, till he thought, I'll make me a man. Up from the bed of the river, God scooped the clay. And by the bank of the river, he kneeled him down. And there the great God Almighty, who lit the sun and fixed it in the sky, who flung the stars to the most far corner of the night, who rounded the earth in the middle of his hand. This great God, like a mammy bending over her baby, kneeled down in the dust, toiling over a lump of clay, till he shaped it in his own image. And into it he blew the breath of life. And man became a living soul. Amen. Amen.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to take just a moment to make an award presentation that the choir nor Mr. Eastep knows about. Century Records, who has recorded many thousands of groups across the United States, each year awards a gold record award to a group whom we feel have given the most to music. We feel these youngsters in front of you have given nearly their life this night to music. And so we would like to call Mr. E. Stepp, the director of the Plainfield Grand Choir, to accept this award for and on behalf of the choir and himself. Mr. E. Stepp. Century Records presents Gold Record Award to the Championship Plainfield High School Choir, Mr. Enoch Eastep, Director, in recognition of your unsurpassed performance and your dedication to the art of music. Mr. Eastep.
We'd like to change the mood a little bit. We have a special treat in store for you. At a very young age, and as a junior and senior in high school, we have two young people, Nancy and Ken Hagelin, who have become folk singing artists. Even at their age, they are recording artists in their own right. We'd like to present Ken and Nancy. Where are you?
The cabin door was standing open on that wild and lonely night, and the hound dog he lay and died in the gloomy candlelight. They found a shattered, empty rifle and the shawl she used to wear, but they never found his jewel. Next we hear some 60 voices who will dedicate armed service songs to the men in Vietnam. I think they do a fantastic job. We'll let you be the judge. Shout out to number five. 
Plainfield High School Choir performing the Tabernacle in Salt Lake City on Temple Square. I'm sure I can talk for the choir, the director, and the choir boosters in saying that we are very proud to have been invited to come. We are very proud to have enriched our lives by meeting you. Nothing in this world will thrill us more than if we go away from here knowing that you enjoyed our company as much as we enjoyed yours. And now, I'd like to present the choir in its finale. The Battle Hymn of the Republic, arranged by Will Husky.
Singing Plainfield High School Choir. Performing in the famed tabernacle on Temple Square in Salt Lake City, Utah. To the courtesy of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. The Plainfield High School Choir is from Plainfield, Illinois, the suburb of Chicago. Thank you and good night.